The message tonight is, what does God require from us before we can come to him? I'm still on the theme of acceptance. What does God require of you before you can go to God and say, Father, I have sinned? Let's, let's, let's pray. Oh God, you know the foolishness of my heart, dear Lord. My sins are not hidden from you. Lord, I confess to you the innermost, darkest place of places of my heart no one sees. Lord, you tell me that if I come to you penitent as your child, you're willing to save me. I pray for the audience, dear Lord, for everyone who's hearing my voice. I pray that you will receive the Lord if the Holy Spirit is knocking at your heart. Let him in. The Holy Spirit was sent to us. We thank you, Jesus, as our comforter, our guide, and our teacher when you left for our sins. When you died on Calvary's cross, you told us you would send the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we thank you. you pr we praise your holy name. We love you, dear Jesus. So tonight, amen. Tonight, I'd like to talk with you about a question that I had. It's disturbing. And the Lord is telling me, that whomever the person or persons with that question needs him. The Holy Spirit is, brother, is knocking at your heart. Sister is knocking at your heart. Let the Holy Spirit in. God is not a liar. And as his humble servant, his humble messenger, lying is, a, is the last thing. I would ever do on God. That is not even an issue. Sometimes knowledge deficit in my work life, I found knowledge deficit often comes across as negativity and defensiveness and ignorance. But tonight the Holy Spirit has asked me to guide us to a couple texts, which I have right here. And the first one I would like to start with is Luke 5, 31 to 30, uh, I mean 15 to 7 rather. We'll start with that. In Luke 15, verse 7, the physician Luke told us, Heaven rejoices over one sinner, just one sinner, who's come to repentance more than it does over 99 righteous, self-righteous people needing no repentance. Again, in Luke 5, verse 31, the scripture tells us people who are whole need no physician. Come to God. He's willing, able, eager, to help you. Father, I have sinned. Father, I have sinned. We're all sinners. Don't be ashamed. This, but the word of God tell you. It's no disgrace to confess your sins because he already knows them. Nothing is hid from him. Psalm 69 verse 5. Lord, you know my foolishness. You know, know my foolish ways. My sins are not hidden from you, O God. You think you can hide from the Lord? You can, neither can I. So you think you're hiding. It's like having an ant in the palm of your hand. With one snuff, you're out. I hope you will live long and prosperously. Because I know the Lord wants to, us to live happily on earth and have a secure home in heaven. But the Lord is saying, don't wait. Don't wait until you have that dance. Don't wait until you have more money can throw in the collection plate. 
or give our payers tithe. He's saying, don't wait until, until you can buy those beautiful earrings or bracelet or, or chain, gold chain, to wear to, to work. You, do you think if Jesus still walked this earth and a prostitute, a prostitute approached him, what did Jesus do with a woman of ill repute? A drunk staggered in. Come to Jesus. Stop struggling. There is no struggle. The door is open wide and the Savior, thank you, Lord, bids you come. Come to God today. Don't resist. God bless you. I hope you'll have a wonderful night. And if you're a Sabbath keeper, I am. I hope that Sabbath will be a happy, joyous one. And you draw a little closer to God. Tell the Lord, Lord, search my heart. Search my heart, O God. I'm coming home. I'm not any more righteous than you are. It's just that what I tell you is what the Lord has placed on my heart. Because I allow the Holy Spirit to come in. That's why I no longer judge. I can't afford to. The Holy Spirit wouldn't dwell with me. I'm going to wish you a very good morning, if it's morning wherever you are, or a very good night. And, and tell you, God bless you. What does the Lord need to accept you? Is there a reason you can't right now say, Lord, I raise my right hand. Lord, I have sinned. I'm your child. I have sinned, but I want to come home. What do you, what do you suppose God would do? Oh, you, your sins are too bad? No. The Bible tells us there's no sin that's worse than the other. So don't put it off. Today we have breath. Tomorrow, we don't know. Come today. The Lord is calling you. And I suspect the reason you're angry and talking about lies and lying on God and God lies is not a... Listen, that's anger. That's called, psychologists would call it projection. This or displacement. Don't do that. Don't get in the way of our fellowshipping. I'm trying to present the word of the Lord as God lays it on my heart. And I love you. God loves you. Brother, sister, child of God. Therefore, we're siblings in Christ. Have a wonderful night or a wonderful morning. And our midnight affirmation again is what does God require of us to come to him? Only you know and God. God bless you.